The mixer is the control center for managing audio levels, effects, and more. It is where you sculpt your sound and bring your tracks to life. To access the mixer, just click on this icon here or just use the shortcut key, which is F9. To send your audio clips from the playlist into the mixer, just double click on them and then go to the mixer routing box and then send it to your preferred mixer track. To send your pattern clips, just go to the channel rack, go to the mixer routing box and then send it to your preferred mixer track. On top of the mixer, there are some options here that can be used to organize the mixer track, change the view, change the meter view to a dB meter or to a waveform meter. From here, you can also hide or show extra mixer properties. And you can also move the track inspector. Now, FL Studio has about 125 mixer input tracks, apart from the first two here. So the first two here are just the current track and then the master track. So the current track shows the meter information of any selected track. Then the master track is like the main gate where everything comes in from and then goes out from. This means that anything you add on the master track will affect every mixer input track and also every audio coming in and out of FL Studio. Now every mixer track has a meter, a volume fader, bunch of controls and then a track inspector. So the track inspector is where you add your effects and your plugin. You can add up to 10 effects and then down here you also have an EQ for some quick cuts and boosts. Now let's talk about some of these mixer track properties. The first thing we have here is the mute button. So you can use this to unmute and mute the track. Next is the pan knob. So this is used to move an audio left or right. Next is the invert wave. So this is used to flip the sign of a waveform. And then here we have the swap stereo. So this is used to swap the stereo sound left or right. Here we have the stereo separation knob. So you can use this to switch an audio to mono which is thinner or to stereo which is wider. Next we have the disable effect. So this is used to disable effects that you've added to your track. And then here we have the delay compensation. Next to it, we have the arm record switch. So this is used to arm a mixer track for recording. And then here we have the send switch. So this is used for side chaining your track and also routing your track. So I hope you got value from this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe.